<laughs> hey guys, this is another uh, Cartridge Blast vlog, or what did you guys say? A C Blast vlog, but not a C Blast vlog. Kablog? Kablog. 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 Vlog. Anyway, Kablam. so we're Kablast. here. That's what it was. Kablast. Kablast. That's right. So we're here talking about the new Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Um, a lot of people are really, like, angry about the difficulty. I'm not sure. I'm confused. I I'm think, very confused. I don't think a lot Jonah of people told are. me this, and I feel like you're lying to me, but evidently you're not, because you actually showed me proof. So, yeah. go so, ahead. So what article did you find, Jonah? It was from Games Radar. It's titled... They're wrong. <laughs> They're wrong. Automatic. It's, it's by Lu Louise Blaine. Luigi? <laughs> Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy makes the Binding of Isaac feel like a summer getaway. And it's got some uh, choice quotes. Like, uh, it's transforming into Super Meat Boy and it's become Dark Souls. So, it Crash... is not that hard of a game. I mean, I've beaten all three of them. I'm, I'm sure these are exaggerations. And it has, like, blown up on Twitter. People are upset about this. I, now, did, I did see Twitter, and people were like, do I remember this game being as hard as it is? Well, my question is, is that, like... And I haven't played the the new trilogy. I haven't played the Insane I think it's trilogy. the same thing. All disclaimers aside. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't, so I don't know if they changed anything about the jumping mechanics or the game itself, whatever the case may be. It looks, like, similar to what I played. Mm -hmm. The game's not that hard. The only thing I think that people get hung up on are the levels where they are coming... Towards, the you, towards you, because mm -hmm. you don't really know pretty much what's happening. Like it's kind of like a rinse and repeat type of a game. But like I don't think in any sense of the imagination that Crash Bandicoot, any three of them, are unbeatable. No, like I, I don't think they're as hard as they're saying. But like I do think games back then were harder than they are now, just because I there's, guess. there's a lot of babying now. I w yeah, I but would. I mean, they kind of redesigned a lot of that stuff, right? They, they, even from like the the maps and the level design and whatnot. They I guess they just kind of cleaned it up and made they it cleaned it up and um, they tweak some control me mechanics to make it just a little bit better and easier okay. so easier it, it shouldn't be harder but yeah i mean listen i like you said i played this series back in the day i beat them all mm -hmm. but yeah it was a little challenging here and there but it wasn't like ridiculously hard i mean you're looking at although you're looking at people that played you know nintendo school, games like super nintendo games uh, even talking about PlayStation when this came out, Resident Evil One, Resident Evil Two, like you were, it wasn't just you can hit start and hit save. There wasn't auto saves. You actually had to go around with like ten bullets in Resident Evil to find ink cartridges so you could actually save. Then you had to find a typewriter to save. So, you know, we're coming off games like that. So, looking back, it those were just the norms. So for this to be hard. I mean, what, what's it say about gamers today? Evidently, like, being spoon-fed stuff. I don't even know. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm trying to understand, like, what's hard about the game. Like, because it's a fixed camera angle. You don't have to deal with any of the hard camera angles you used to have to deal with, like, even on the N64, mm -hmm. where you had to switch the camera angles in order to see certain things or maneuver certain things. You actually had to stop playing sometimes in order to switch the camera angle. Uh -huh. Like, it's a fixed camera angle. And even some of the crash levels, they go from that... Um, like over the shoulder look or, or him coming at you and then he switches into like the regular side scrolling type of design with the, with the levels yeah so like I don't know what the problem is I don't it know might... what the difficulty it, or unless it's just it's it's one of those things where it, it was ahead of his time maybe like I don't like or like it might be the controls it's not broken mechanics just because I think back then a lot of the controls weren't as precise I so, guess. so it might be a little clunky. So uh, it's like I gotta play it to be honest and yeah. see kind of what they're talking. So maybe about. that tight little input lag, but there wouldn't be input lag. They would fix that if there was input maybe, lag. Yeah, maybe it was just I don't know. Maybe it was just not used to platformers. I don't know. Maybe they were just bad at the game. Maybe it was just but. like a certain ten people that tweeted it, so that was <laughs> it. But it seemed like there was a couple of people having issues with it, and we just wanted to kind of bring that up and find out is it is it just us or I mean. Is I just that, don't remember it being hard. Like, I don't remember it being I, that hard. I remember it being fun, but, it, like, for them to make sequels, like, if the first game was that hard, which I think the first one was the hardest of them all, but... it would have been the hardest. Like, the first one was not... It was still fine, but they really refined it when the second one came Yeah, out. I, re I remember dying a lot, but, I mean, nothing crazy, but people were like, oh, man, I died 500 times and stuff like that. I was like, I never died 500 times since I played Castlevania. I'm trying to be <laughs> Dracula. So, um... But yeah, it's, I don't know, 
maybe it's just the games that are out there today. Maybe it could just be the people playing it. Like, oh, I remember playing that as a kid, but they really haven't played something like that since they've been playing, like, the Call of Duties, where it's just, like, straightforward. You just go and shoot and all that stuff. I mean, what really is a comparable, like, game like that in this day and age? I mean, Crash is pretty unique because, like I said, the the way the fixed camera angles were, the level designs were really <clears> unique. <throat> well, evidently, Dark Souls is comparable. I don't have... I don't, I don't even <laughs> They compare understand. it to Dark Souls? Like, I, couldn't, I couldn't compare Crash to, like, Bloodborne. Like, it's just... There's no comparison, so I'm just kind of confused about... Maybe it's aesthetics. <laughs> like, they're, if they're trying to claim it as, like, the, dead, the Dark Souls of uh, platformers, I just... I don't know. I can't agree with that. Yeah, I know. I mean, it is getting rave reviews because it's pretty much the exact same thing we remember, but HD and just yeah. tweaked controls in certain areas. So, I don't know. Uh, but like you said, disclaimer, I haven't played it yet. Um, I'm excited to see how the dual sh- the dual shock uh, controller, the thumbstick, mm-hmm. like that wasn't a thing. Like when those games originally came out, there you was had, no you dual, had yeah. D-pad. Yep. And I think that, I think if, even with the D-pad, there was some difficulty to it because of, like, the limitation on, like, the direction that the character would go, like, mm-hmm. Crash would go. But with, if you're adding in the joystick or the thumbstick, then I feel like it just would make it that much easier. Yeah, so it, it wouldn't be know. taking away or it wouldn't be adding the difficulty. It should be helping. Yeah. But so who know. knows? Maybe the rumble is throwing them off. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. You never know. Yeah, the rumble on PS1, though, right? It came out as a DualShock 1, but I don't know if that was... I don't think they had it for the original. Not for the know. first one. Not for the first crash. I think they it came out for the second one by then. I just remember they were coming out with, like, for instance, Re- Resident Evil again. They came out with uh, the original Resident Evil. Then they would come out with the DualShock version. So you would actually get some rumble in there. But, uh, Jonah, I mean, wh- what do you think? Do you play the original Crash games? I played a little bit of the original on a friend's PS1. Because it didn't have PS1. He had Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I did have Yoshi's Cookie. Uh... And it was fun, but I never really went into it, so I'm not really nostalgic for it. Dove in. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I love this series. I, uh, but I, I want to get it, but I just, we just thought it was an interesting topic for a vlog to find out it's what's going on. Comparison. Like, it is. It's a really strange comparison. Yeah, and is, is it. And I played all of them. I beat all of them. Does it like, say something about the games that are releasing nowadays? Is it just too easy? And is there, do we need more. I think at the end of the day, I mean, that's, that's, a, whole, that's a whole another topic. I know, because it's but like... Games are going to be easier nowadays because they need to sell them to people that are actually going to play them and beat them because if they make them too hard, they're not going to play that game ever again and, be, and word of mouth is when they get out that this game is too hard. But then again, you look at Dark Souls, Bloodborne, I mean, look at that. Demon Souls. They do then, well. Yeah. It's the challenge. I guess, but I guess it's just not for everybody. So. Well, I never bought Dark Souls for that reason because I didn't want to throw... I didn't want to break anything in my house, but... So, but what do you guys think? Uh, let us know down in the comments. Have you played it? Is it that difficult? Is it just an over exaggeration, or do we just forget how hard it actually was? Let us know down in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm John for Cartridge Blast Gamers. I'm Jonah. I'm Carmine. Stay awesome, guys. Peace.